One of the most common questions that I get asked from newbie pyrographers is, hey, Jannie, which tip do I use for this project? I don't wanna ruin this piece of wood and I don't know what tip does what. There are tips that come in your kit that half these pyrographers are like, I don't know what the devil that's even for. It just kind of sits there and takes up space because they don't really want to throw it away because they already paid for it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what those tips are for, how to use them, and when to choose a different tip. This video series is all about wood burning tips and their uses solid point edition. This is probably the most popular uh, wood burning machine out there for beginners just because it's so cheap. Later, I'm going to do a wire machine version, but for now, we're gonna focus on the solid point. Did I tell you I made a board? Of all the different tips, their best uses, their okay uses, and their hard uses where I would choose something else. And this board really helped me to see what tip was good for what pyrography technique. One thing I consider really valuable in this is I didn't try to make it pretty. I tried to see what was easy, what just naturally flowed out of each tip. You're totally invited to get a copy of this board, by the way. All you have to do is head over to burnsavvy.com and sign up. I go over each one of these tips throughout the video series, and I'm excited to show you. The most common tip, it usually comes installed in your wood burner, is the universal point, and some call it the chisel tip because of its shape. And this is the mini universal point. I start by taking that chiseled edge and I just drag it gently down to make the lines. When I did this second line here, I was a little slower. I pressed a little more of the chisel into the wood just so you could get an idea for how fine or how thick these lines really get. Now when it comes to curves, this just kind of doesn't want to play nicely, at least not the angle I was holding it. I did discover later that if I turn it upside down, I can get some decent curves for a very fine line. But in general, this is just not the easiest tip for curves. As for dots, I wouldn't really use this one for stippling or pointillism, but I did find it interesting that the dots were all triangular. And when you turn it upside down, they're actually triangular right side up. <laughs> so that was a fun little texture to discover. I kind of felt the same about circles as I did about the curves. It's just hard to control. And going around there, it just, it wasn't very easy. So when you're doing patterns like mandalas and things like that, it might be easier to choose a different tip. Shading on the other hand, works really nicely with this tip. And you can see Without giving it much try, it does a decent job shading. It does show the grain, but if you go back in and touch it up a little bit, it really doesn't take much effort to get a decent gradient. I do want to add that shading is not typically a beginner's art. Shading is really hard with a wood burning tool. So that's something that takes time and practice. Now as for lettering, you can see here, I turned it upside down so that it's just the chisel point. And kind of the rounder side of the chisel point is what I'm dragging across the board. And it's a little bit better than the curves above it. And it's actually not bad. It's not great. I don't love it, but it's not bad. As for print or bold block lettering, I, I really think that this is a decent one for that. It's got that nice, sharp edge, but I find that it's a little bit tricky getting in those finer areas. So this I think would be better for bold block lettering that's really big or lettering that might require shading. So here is how the universal point played out. In the end, I'd say that some of the best uses were straight lines. I think it's okay for dots with the triangles. I don't like it for curves or circles. It's okay for lettering, but I love it for shading. And that's a wrap on the universal tip. I'll catch you on the next video. I have a wire point. I have a wire burner. I have a wire nib burner. What was the next thing I was going to say? <laughs> 
so not natural. Eh.